All right, let's have a look here. So we have this uh, login form, chat AI, and this is the URL. So we want to find out if this is vulnerable to SQL injection. Okay. Now, basically, what we want to do this, we're going to have first to look at the URL. If we try to uh, log in with test credentials, such as maybe test at test.com, and the password will be 123, we get an error. But you see, the URL is the same. If you want to use SQL map, we're going to have to provide a URL with the parameters or the vulnerable parameters. This URL is a bare URL. It doesn't have parameters. It's such the address and the login page. The parameters could be uh, maybe uh, such as maybe uh, index uh, and ID equal one. We call this the parameter. The ID is the parameter and the testing will be on the value of the parameter. One, we replace one with SQL payloads. Basically, first, if you try to intercept the request with purpose suite, we activate perp from here. And with purpose suite running, we make sure the intercept is on. Then we resend the request. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, now we see the parameters. You see, this is the request. It is a get request. And the parameters we need to test for SQL injection are these parameters. You see, we have provided the email and we provided the password the password is test and this is the email value that we have submitted so we call email and password the parameters used in the get request these are needed in order to test for sql injection you can either go about this using the manual method where you will either use sql injection payloads in the email field or in the password field we can copy this okay go back and using we're going to open the shell so here we're going to create a new file named request, then request of text. Now we paste into request. Next we launch SQL map and we provide SQL map the full request. This way SQL map has all it needs to test whether the application or the web application is vulnerable to SQL injection. We enter. Now that's one method of doing things. The full video can be found in my channel or in my bio. Thank you for watching.